while this is common, it is not your new normal. So understand that there are things that you can do about this. If you haven't done any scar massage, definitely start with that. I'm assuming you're past the six week mark and that there are no infections to your scar. Also, you want to progress this type of scar massage to include the deeper fascial layers. So if this is something that you have questions about, please do send me a direct message here on Instagram or connect with your perinatal professional. When I work with my cesarean moms, either through my When I work with my cesarean moms, either through my programs or one-on-one, -on -one, the first thing we do are the ABCs. I know, it keeps coming up. So the first thing is the ABCs. You can actually start that on day one. So you don't have to wait to the six-week discharge mark. So ideally, by the time you're six weeks, the first thing you would do then is progress those ABCs to include what I refer to as the six diastasis exercises and the seven primal movements. And these 13 exercises are what makes up the rehabilitation program. It's, it's like an exercise program, right? Like you need a rehab program after any surgery and a cesarean is no different. So, um, you know, I assign specific exercises and I progress them according to what your body needs. In addition to that, scar massage. So make sure you do one scar massage and one movement every single day. I'll link my program below so you can read more about the information. If it's comfortable, utilize some kind of abdominal compression. It can be an abdominal wrap, it can be a compression garment, it could start with one and finish with the other, um, but at the end of the day, when it is put on properly and it's fitted properly, it should not hurt to wear at all. There should be no pain in the surgical area or on the pelvic floor or anywhere else. So uh, make sure that you're being coached to utilize the correct strategy for you. One, establish your A, B, Cs. Two, make sure your diastasis is controlled. Everybody has a diastasis, by the way, everybody. And three, make sure you have a great strength base. And then you want to progress that into high impact. Running is a, it's a high impact activity. So it's very different than just living heavy weights. Um, so you know what I did? I put together a free resource here below. And it's a checklist of 13 exercises that you want to be able to do before you return to postpartum running. And this is just a safety checklist. Um, and then if there are items that you're not able to do, that becomes part of your rehab program. Check it out.